Once you have created a data source, the next step is to create a data set. First click on a data source in the sources list. Here you see a preview of your data source. We call the rows in your source instances and the columns fields. In this data source, each instance represents a person who applied for a loan, and each column represents a piece of information about that person, such as the amount of money in their checking account. If it looks like BigML has properly detected all of the fields in your data, you can create your data set in one click using the one click data set button. If you want to make changes to the way your data is understood by BigML, click the configure source button. In the panel that drops down, you can change a number of things about the data set you are creating, such as the data set's descriptive name and the parsing options for your data. You can also deselect certain fields if you know they are not very useful for prediction. Again, if you do not need any of these options, you can use the one-click data set button to use the defaults. Once you have created the data set, you'll see a histogram for each field in the data. Mousing over the histogram tells you how many instances are represented by each bar.